Hello, in this video we're going to talk about how to measure GDP using the value-added approach and do an example. So the value-added approach is calculating GDP gross domestic product by summing the value added by each industry at each stage of production. So this is from the Bureau of Economic Analysis website, BEA.gov, and the link here is in parentheses. And they have something called GDP by industry, which is just value added by industry. So GDP by industry measures an industry's contribution to GDP. And again, it's known as the value added by industry. An industry's value added is the market value it adds in production or the difference between the price at which it sells its product and the cost of the inputs it purchases from other industries. So for example, when a baker makes and sells a birthday cake, the baker's value added is the market price of the cake minus the cost of the eggs and other inputs that the baker uses. The baker's work making and selling the cake counts as part of the manufacturing industry's contribution to GDP, while the farmer's production of eggs is part of the farmer farming industry's contribution to GDP. Value added for all U.S. industries combined will equal the nation's GDP. So let's do a simple uh, example here. We have several stages in production. We got a farmer, a textile mill, a shirt manufacturer, and then finally the retailer. So the carton farmer is going to make raw cotton and sell that raw cotton to the textile mill. So in this case, we're going to assume the farmer has no intermediate products. So the farmer grows raw cotton and sells that cotton for $3. So that $3 of raw cotton becomes an intermediate product to the textile mill. You'll also note here we have in the middle column this income equals value added. So this is just 3 minus 0, the price minus the value of the intermediate products. And so that's going to be $3 for the farmer as well. So moving down, as we said, the textile mill buys the farmer's raw cotton and will turn that into cotton fabric. The textile mill will sell this cotton fabric to the shirt manufacturer for $8. So the textile mill will sell the woven fabric for $8. That will now become an intermediate product for the shirt manufacturer. Just looking at the income or the value added for the textile mill, it's the price the fabric was sold for minus the value of the intermediate product. So 8 minus 3 is where this $5 is coming from. So with the shirt manufacturer, it takes this woven fabric and it turns it into a shirt and sells that shirt to the retailer for $15. The value added for the shirt manufacturer is the price minus the value of the intermediate product. 15 minus 8 gives us $7. And for the retailer, the retailer buys the shirt from the shirt manufacturer for $15, sells it for $30, so 30 minus 15 is the retailer's income or value added. Now, calculating GDP, there are three ways to do that. The expenditure approach, the income approach, and the value added approach. Let's start with the value added. So the value added approach is going to be total sales or what the Bureau of Economic Analysis calls gross output minus the total value of all intermediate products. So summing up this last column, 30 plus 15 plus 8 plus 11. The total sales in this economy is $56 minus the total value of the intermediate products. Okay, 3, 8, 15 sums to 26. We get GDP of $30. You'll notice this GDP of $30 will equal the expenditure approach. What is the expenditure approach? It uh, calculates the final market value. Uh, for all goods and services. So for this final good or service here, the shirt, it sold for $30, and that is the expenditure approach. In terms of the income approach, we're just going to sum up the total income generated in the production process here, and that will sum to $30. All right, let's look at some real-world data. So this is value added by industry, or what the Bureau of Economic Analysis calls GDP by industry. It's the same thing. This is for 2019, and the values are in billions of dollars. 
so GDP here was in 2019 uh, 21.4 trillion in terms of the value added about 18.7 18.8 trillion came from private industries and 2.6 trillion down here came from the government so breaking private industries down we see the GDP or value added by industry so the agricultural forestry the value added there is about 175 billion mining 309 billion dropping down to manufacturing about 2.3 trillion of value added uh, and so on here's a big category here finance insurance and some other things about 4.5 trillion and just moving down and the government again is about 2.6 trillion all right so that's it i hope you found this video helpful